got to move these refrigerators. We got to move these color TV. Can we can we do that? Oh, we might get into trouble unless we say the name of the song and how much we like it, right? Right. Uh, what's the name of that song again? Money for Nothing by Dire Straits. It's one of my favourite songs. Great song. Great. Yeah, all right. We've got to move these color TV. Bye. Thanks. My first, uh, my first guest to appear since my last guest was here. Uh, is a very, very good actor. He's tall, he's handsome. He's in a show called Magic City, which is a uh, Friday on the Stars Network. Take a look at this. Princess, after you. Who was the guy playing the piano? Or just a. Uh, uh... <laughs> See, that's what I like to say sometimes. Looks like my ape found a banana. <laughs> the kind of stuff I want to say, not, oh, cheeky monkeys. I love you, man. I love you too. Man. <laughs> Please welcome the spectacular Danny Houston, everybody. Danny Houston. Uh, it's good to see you. Congratulations on this Magic City show. It's fantastic. Thank you. And you've got a second season, right? We have a second season. That's that's great. That means that you can now buy a house. And we keep searching for bananas. Yeah, well, that's... A, are you a bad guy in this thing? Um, well, with a name like The Butcher, possibly. Yes. <laughs> well, you could be a butcher. Or a sweet butcher. Ah, uh, a sweet butcher, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you're... I don't get that. It's uh, the cigar. The cigar kind of gives it yeah. away. Yeah. Do you enjoy a cigar? I love a cigar. Really? I haven't had a cigar in a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you see, the thing is about cigars, I started smoking cigars when I, uh, when I stopped smoking. And I, then I just smoked them like cigarettes, and I had to go to hospital. Inhaling cigars is very bad. Yeah. Do you smoke cigars? I like a cigar from time to time, especially when I'm working. Oh, yes, I see. Then you can say, it's not me smoking, it's Mr. Butcher's. Nothing like yeah. that. Nothing like a big prop in one's mouth. No. Or a banana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now listen, I met you a number of years ago with, uh, with Mark Crowdy, a, a gentleman I used to work. Do you still see Mark? I still see Mark Crowdy on occasion, and I remember you made a film called The Big Tease. Not with Mark. I made a, I made a film called Saving Grace with Mark. Uh, he and I wrote the movie together, and then he produced it, and, uh, and I was in it, and it, it did all right. And The Big Tease was something else. The Big Tease didn't do that well. But uh, I still like the movie. Did you see it? No, you never saw it. But it was, it was good. Yeah, it was all right. You should have been in it. If you were in it, it would have been better. Uh, but of course. Yeah, we couldn't afford you. Couldn't afford all the cigar work that you <laughs> yes. wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, now he lives in London. Do you ever go over to London? I do. I go to London often. My mother lives there. Oh, well, there yeah. you are then. That's yeah. probably for the best. Yeah. Are you going over this weekend? <laughs> no, but I am going over there for the, for, partly for the summer. Month. For the Olympics? Uh, oh, God, yes. It's going to be very crowded. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, then, then don't go. Uh, well... Do yeah. you enjoy sport? I do like sport. Watching sports. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, you're amongst friends. Uh, what, what sports do you enjoy watching? Um, I like watching football, but the one where you use your foot to hit the ball. Soccer. <laughs> yes, yes. So we, we call it soccer here. In just, just so that uh, you are American, you understand how this works. I am American. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, oh, your dad directed my, famous, my favorite film of all time. Man Who Would Be King. Man Who Would Be King. Yeah, that's a I great film, that movie. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah. Does a lot of people say that? Um, no, but I know that you have a certain passion for... Uh, Sean Connery and Michael Caine. I know that that movie, I know inside out. Ten shillings, it was ten shillings to pipe Major McCrennan. I can say go. that movie. Fantastic. Yeah, no, I can say, I, we shall be kings of Kafiristan, Peachy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, were you there when he made it? You can also call me Danny if you wish. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, Danny because of... Uh, Wow. Yeah, I was there. I was there. I was, I was, a, I was maybe a young t teenager, and uh, I got to spend time in the Atlas Mountains in Morocco with Connery, Kane, wow. and my father, John wow. Houston, oh, yeah. Christopher Plummer. And these are men that they don't really make. Anything. Don't make them like Annie Mary. Nope. You know why? Why? Sexual harassment law. <laughs> is that what it is? What it is? What it is? Don't make men like that anymore.
No, the lawyers crawling all over the place, corporate uh, monkeys telling you what to do. Uh, you, can't, you can't be a real man anymore. You'd end up in jail. You can't even peel a banana. You can't peel a banana without it being something dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, we're out of time. <laughs> not, not, not really. I mean, um, sort of. It takes a long time to wrap this kind of thing up. I see. I see. It's kind of like an ocean liner. You know, you, you think it's going to stop. You know, you pull it up, but it keeps going. Oh, God. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. Oh, I, I tell you, welcome to my hell, Danny. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. And you'll be 50 soon. Oh, th uh, Well, the only reason I'm bringing it up is because I will also be 50. Really? Yeah. When? Ah, uh, in a few days, practically. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Did the AARP get hold of you? Yeah. No. They, they got in touch with me. Oh, really? Yeah, they said, hey, do you want to be in our magazine? I was like, no! <laughs> and then they put me in their damn magazine anyway. Oh. I was like, it's like they come up and they go, one of us, one of us, one of us. When really you want one of those. Yeah, you, want one of those. you don't want that. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, guys. What do you fancy, mouth organ, awkward pause, or the big cash prize? I think the big cash prize. What time is it, Shadow Stevens? Time once again for the big yeah. cash prize. Big yeah. cash prize, there you are, buddy. Fifty dollars in quarters uh. and a bag with a dollar sign on it. You'll never pay for parking again if you win this. All right. You put it in your cup holder, it's fantastic. Beautiful. So the celebrities tell me. Oh. I don't get to take this home. You bet I can, I can wear it on my belt. You could wear it on your belt and people would think you were a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. Uh, you try and guess. If you guess correctly, you win the $50. If you guess incorrectly, oh. Something awful happened. Yeah. All right. But if you answer the question and you're wrong, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> I think you sneaked in an awkward pause now, didn't you? <laughs> what do you think then? Question or guess what's in my box? I would like to guess what's in your okay, box. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, hang on. I'm imagining a box in my head. Jeff, do you have it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeff, are you implying that it's that sounded dirty? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, Danny. Can, what is in my box? I can hear. I can hear a, a jingly kind of. <laughs> no real words, just a sort of jingly. Sound. A, a jingly sound? What could it be? I I I, I don't know. I, either is it just a sound that's in the box? Yeah, and in the distance, a, a sort of voice saying. That sounded dirty. <laughs> so you're saying in the box is a jingly sound and a catchphrase. I'm afraid that's the... All right, let's see if that... What's in the box, Jeff? We would have accepted fat vodka. <laughs> but it is, that sounded dirty. No!